I've just come out of the focus group in Froome where we were speaking to voters in the marginal Lib Dem conservative uh, constituency of Somerton in Froome. I'm with Jim Pickard, our chief political correspondent. Jim, what did you make of the people in there? There were a lot of Tories. I thought it was very interesting that there were people who were split down the middle in terms of how they voted in 2010, but this time quite clearly there was a bit of a shift towards the Conservatives because they felt that the Conservatives had done a pretty good job for the last four years. They really liked David Cameron, they thought he was a good guy, they thought he was much more moderate than his, some of his Tory colleagues. Um, they kind of felt sympathetic towards the Lib Dems and one of them used the phrase that Lib Dems had, had a sort of tempering influence upon the Tories. So they went completely down on the Lib Dems. When they were asked to draw cars um, to sort of represent how they felt about politicians, the Tories were smart cars, Audis, they were sleek, they were going places and the Lib Dems were kind of broken down family cars with scratches all over them. I mean, this is a town where the bookies sort of shifted and it looks like the Tories are going to seize it and our uh, focus group certainly did seem to, to suggest exactly the same thing is going to happen. And this is just one of many seats in the southwest where the Tories are hoping to get at least a dozen constituencies that were previously lived there. And you think that's predominantly on the back of David Cameron's performance rather than the local MP? They, none of them seem that enthusiastic about how the MPs have been engaging with them. Well also you've got a situation where a guy called David Heath, who was a very well regarded Lib Dem MP, has stepped down. He's being replaced by a new Lib Dem candidate um, also called David, who's not from around here. The Tory candidate is also called David, so it's a little bit confusing. But the point is that though that incumbency advantage that you would normally get from having an existing MP seeking re-election, that has gone. And while that will help a lot of Lib Dems elsewhere in the country, in this constituency that won't be a factor at all. So overall you think David Warburton can be confident next week? I think it's looking like, I mean, you, you can't predict an election on the back of what nine people are saying, but certainly what these guys were saying bears out what appears to be happening in the polls and in the betting odds for this constituency. It looks to me like it's going to be Tory in seven days' time. And in the secret ballot at the end, there were nine people polled and mm -hmm. two voted Green. What did you make of that? No one seemed to talk about the Green Party. Do you think that votes are going to go to the Greens? Well, again, it's quite interesting that in the past, people were able to vote Lib Dem as a protest vote, whatever it was they liked to protest about, whether it was the Iraq war, whether it was about they wanted the government to be more left-wing. Now that they've seen the Lib Dems in government, enacting what some would see as a right-wing program, that protest vote has, has split off. And around here, that's much more likely to go green than anywhere else. The, and Labour has virtually no presence here at all. And they, they had a massive down on Ed Miliband. They described him as weak. They described him as a burke, as a geek. They were shown a clip of him being interviewed by Russell Brand. And one woman literally had her fingers over her eyes. She, she literally couldn't bear to watch him. Um, which, given that he's been doing quite well, uh, people say in TV appearances in recent weeks, that's certainly not how it feels here in Somerset. Thanks, Jim.